Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's unboxing day! It's unboxing day for Sword Art Online Hollow Realization for the PS4. I am super stoked for this. I've been waiting for this for a couple of months now. So I I got the collector's edition, which costs like $150. But since I ordered it from Amazon Prime, it took two extra days and cost $30 less. Okay, let's get into this. Throw that crap away. This entire box, just for one little box. As I should have expected. Here we are, Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. The different outfits for Osmus awesome and on Sword of for Leafa and Silica and Lisbeth should really tick you off that this is a brand new Sword Art Online game set in the alternate universe of the games. Yep, really shelling out a lot to Reki Kawahara on this one. I should appropriately change my desktop to something. <sighs> Nah, never mind. You can leave it on... I can leave it on Reddit. <sighs> There's some text in both English and in non-English. Oh, French. Why are you on so many Japanese games? I don't understand. It gives you the ultimate package of figurines, which I will show off. And probably add to my collection over there with Bulbasaur. Yes, that's a Silica figurine, by the way. It was a disappointment. A steel book. Special contents disc. Oh, I'm not going to read all that crap. You're, you're going to see it eventually. Yep. This side looks a lot like the other's just side, except it has more French. Ladition Collector. All right, let's open this crap up. As usual, I have my safety scissors. <laughs> So I'm gonna slowly open. No, oh. I'm gonna slowly open this up, or I'm gonna fast forward it because, dang, I'm gonna take a while on this. Or I'm just gonna cut to when I remove the stupid plastic shell. This collector's edition box is number glare, number three thousand six hundred seventy-five out of ten thousand. Man. I'm going to be one of the players who die in the game, aren't I? Maybe there's something at the bottom? No. Okay, now let's really open this thing up. Ugh, crap. Who needs tripods, honestly? Oh man, it has so much new game smell. I mean, it smells kind of like a new car. Except, you know that's way cheaper. And Japanese cardboard. Whatever. Oh, there we go. There's the big prize of this collector's edition. Two figurines. I pulled out Kirito by mistake. I wanted Asuna in first. They come in very unsecure packaging. I'm surprised that her hair did not snap off in some way. Yeah, instead of playing the game, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna play with figurines. Oh, it even comes with swords. There's the lambent light, and there's the sheet for it. Does it get, like, attached to her in some way? Maybe it gets attached to, like, the base? Anyway, it's gotta cut this open. Man, I suck at using scissors. Maybe Kirito's easy to cut loose. Wait, what does Kirito come with? It doesn't come with jack shit in terms of swords. He just has a base in it himself. Gosh, Kirito, get something from Lizbeth already. I know she's a ripoff, but still. Okay, I'm going to cut here because taking this apart is a load of crap. Barbie and Ken are already getting at it. Okay, so I've gotten them out of the plastic. All that plastic. I mean, it was a ridiculous amount of plastic to <laughs> fight through there. 
I also found Kirito's weapons deeper inside of the box. You have Dark Repulsor and Elucidator, and two sheaths, too. Yeah, apparently, according to an image of the Collector's Edition, yes, they can hold their weapons while also posing on their stand. They're very simple stands. So, Asuna, um, I need you to stick your feet inside of these pegs. Oh, and if you're wondering about Asuna, yes, white panties up there. Kirito, no. Kirito cannot show off his panties at all. Such a shame, I know. Okay, Asuna... It's just two pegs. But I can't seem to get this down. Oh, wait. Magic happened. Apparently you can have Asuna holding her... her rapier in her right hand and her sheath in her left. Kirito can hold a sword in both of his hands. Though it's kind of strange because there's like these little holes that you can put the swords in. Come on, Kirito. You should never assemble figurines with one hand, by the way. But I do that on a regular basis, it seems, for these videos. Where are the holes on this guy? Right there. On the middle of his feet. I thought it would be on the soles of his feet. Oh. Freaking Kirito. Hang on. Okay. That took way longer than it should have to construct these figurines. First of all, I have to point out how tough it is to get the damn weapons into their hands. Asuna's hands are not very big, so you have to, like, shove that damn sword in into that one hole. And her rapier, you have to actually lift up her arm a little bit and get her, get the the sheath into the correct peg. Kirito is a whole nother story. As you can probably tell by the fact that I bent Dark Repulsa over here. Kirito? Yeah, there was also that. Kirito... <laughs> Kirito's swords are actually detachable. You have to stick the handle into the back of his hand and then attach the blade of the sword after that. And that happens for both of his hands. Like, you have to stick in the handle for Dark Repulsor upwards through this way, and then put on the blade afterwards. And his sheets are a whole different story. Man, it's easy to get one sheath in. <clears throat> That's easy enough. But getting the second sheath in is a load of crap. Let me show you why. This peg over here is tiny. It's really freaking tiny. And you have to get this peg over his shoulder, or over the second sheath, and into this peg, and it just will not fucking fit. Every time I tried this, I put the peg, I put the sword in, or the sheath in, to the peg, but then it just falls off immediately after. Great. But otherwise, this actually looks pretty nice. He's just gonna go with one sheath. Yep. <laughs> So I'm actually happy still about adding these to my wonderful collection of crap. Just complete crap over here. <laughs> uh, what else is in this dumb box? Oh, right, the game. And also... <sighs> yeah, inside this compartment here, we have... Uh, books. Third gear. Huh. So this is like the making of stuff. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna bring that to bed with me or something. I believe this is an assortment of mini posters that I could be looking at. It's covered in plastic, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna have fun wrestling with that. Ah! The game. It's in plastic as well. Yep. <laughs> it's a game. Throw that over with the Yuki. And also, of course, this thing. The Steel Book. This thing actually weighs a lot. It's... But and as you can tell, it's not really made of paper on the cover. So what's in this strange little lunchbox? Well, 
Wait, what? Oh, this is a special content soundtrack. And this is... What is this crap? Special contents. So, two discs. Two unnecessary discs. A special content. Special crap, I should just say. Special crap. And the soundtrack. Uh, well, it was made by Aquaria this time, who made Hollow Fragment, so the soundtrack was actually better back then, and it was even reused in Lost Song, just to show how good it was. Yep. I don't see the, see the point of that. Uh, anything else in this box? No? It, there's a box inside a box. Let's show off this box that's inside the box. Hang on. I need to pull it out. Just like I always do. Oh, the box inside of the box was just a box that contained all the figurines. Yeah. Great. That isn't that special. Let's look at some of the mini posters that came with it. You got some cute little art of Kirito, Elizabeth, and Asuna. Asuna is the least important out of those three. Outfits for Silica, Agil, and Klein. Agula's second best girl and all that. A mini poster of Premiere. Premiere is the female protagonist of Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. And she seems to be hatching out of an egg. Hmm. Let's see. Hollow Realization. Good job. Kirito kind of looks like a vampire in this one. Why does he have red eyes? He's supposed to be black-eyed and shit. Yep. Kirito, Asuna, and Premier. Who the hell is this brute? I actually don't know. Premier. Yep, she gets her own mini poster as well. Asuna looking quite dark as well. I don't know who that other girl is yet. I only know Premier so far. A large assortment of mini posters. Holy crap! Okay. Good job. And as for the reading material, it's mostly an art book. Yeah. Pretty pictures are nice to look at, to bring to you with you in bed, but it also has some of the other. Um, little details about all the characters, like Asuna's voice actresses, Haruka Tomatsu. Yeah. Philia is back in this game, Shreya is back in this game, and she has a better outfit. But it's still very revealing. Argo is back in this game, Yuki is in this game. Hell yes. Argo is wearing something way more revealing than usual. And I'm happy that two of the best girls are on, like, the same fold right here. Hmm, yes. Premiere and what? Who's this? Who's that other girl? Anyway, swimsuit, CG spoilers, you know. All the wonderful art of hollow realization. So I'm done. That's... That's the fucking collector's edition. 150 dollars well spent.